You'll need more than claws to get through well-forged armor. Me always clever. This is the secret to success, yes? For power? Come, Reaper. Come closer. The death you've caused lingers about you. What a pleasant scent. But last year's harvest won't feed this year's brood. I'll need something fresh to bestow my boon. A witch mother's brew to heighten the reek of death. All for a handful of reagents. A pumpkin to serve as a base. Guts torn from squealing critters to add body. Tamriel is littered with dangerous delves. The strongest creatures within are the wheat amidst the chaff. Harvest them. Their essence will linger about you and add just the right flavor to my brew. Bring what I desire to earn your brew. Harvest the strongest creature in any delve for its exquisite flavor. Also guts, and a pumpkin almost as important.
The Reaper returns with the harvest. Yes, the scent of death preceded you. These will do nicely, so very nicely. Now, Reaper, behold the true bounty of your harvest. Drink deeply. <laughs> A fine feast, fit for kings and tyrants alike. Are you not eager to taste, dear Reaper? You came this far, did you not? Drink from the cauldron, feel the witch mother's brew course through you. Do not delay, Reaper. The harvest lasts only so long. Jack stalks the land. Are there any brave souls willing to stop him? I need your help. The Daedric Lord Hollowjack seeks new prey to add to his larder. Hollowjack. Daedric Lord of Fear has manifested his power in Nurn this witch's festival. Lord Hollerjack feeds on the terror he inspires in mortals, crippling them. Lives are at stake, my friend. He's claimed at least three haunted that I know of. The haunted are mortals overcome by fear. Hollowjack lured them to Detritus, terrorized them, and released them back into the world. Unless someone does something, they're doomed. As a priest of Stendar, God of Mercy, I implore you to help. There are three haunted who need your help. I'll mark where to find them on your map. They're in this world, but their spirits are tormented in detritus. This amulet will allow you to journey there to help them.
and let me communicate with you too. I'm Maxian Rodil, a priest of Stendar. I'm aware of the threat Lord Hollowjack presents to the people of Nern during the Witches' Festival. We must protect those targeted by the Daedric Lord of Fear. I've been aware of Lord Hollowjack's power for a long time now. I know when he casts his victims back into our world. He's the Daedric Lord of Mortal Fears. He rules from the Demiplane of Detritus. During the Witches' Festival, his power reaches into our world, where he works his terrors on the vulnerable. He drives people mad with fear. Detritus? It's a ghastly place. A half-world filled with horrors. Lord Hollowjack sups on the fears of mortals there. During this time of year, portals open between that demiplane and this, and he works his dark desires on the living. keeps me safe, but not for long. We're all going to burn. If you go to his domain, you'll see the flames. Go to Detritus. There's a plant, a flame quench bloom that can extinguish the blaze. But beware of Lord Hollowjack. I opened a portal to Detritus. Enter and seek the flame quench bloom. Touch me, I'll die! You'll see! Close to the flame quench bloom. I can feel it. Don't stop now.
yourself from the primordial fear of my domain for one little good elf. So what you want to. You'll make a fire in me on the machine. Thank you enough for your help. Lord Hollowjack did this to me. He must be stopped before he hurts anyone else. Oh, I've always been afraid of fire. I traveled across Tamriel looking for ways to fight it. Someone told me about the flame quench bloom, which could extinguish nearby fires. I went to Detritus to find it. I met him, Lord Hollowjack. He showed me that Everything was on fire. Everything burned. I couldn't get it out of my mind. It consumed me. Until you saved me. I'm still afraid of fire. But the fear's lessened. Right now, I'm going to find a nice ancient tree. Climb as high as I can. And enjoy my first restful slumber in a long time. Thank you. Forgive me. I'll try harder next time. I promise. I'll wash away the shame. I will pay any cost, no matter the sacrifice, even if it kills me. My ancestors, the ones I've disgraced with my useless life, I hear their voices as if they're standing right next to me, condemning me for every flaw. I was in detritus. Lord Hollowjack laid bare my ancestors' true feelings of what a worm I've become. Go speak with them if you must. As for me, I need to prepare myself to make amends for all my failings. Travel to Detritus and face this haunted fear. Leave me. I failed everyone. I must prepare myself to meet my ancestors. Detritus can be a horrifying place. The very air is filled with fear. Keep going!
darkness, but his fears will always bring him back to me. Your fears will do the same. My mother. Why am I thinking of her? The voices. They're gone. I saw my ancestors. Lord Hollowjack and you as well. What did you do? I see. I was so consumed by my fear that I lost all reason. I was so sure that the only way out was to... to... Thank you for ending that nightmare. I don't really remember. Something about that horrible place clouds my memory. I only recall bits and pieces, but I recollect a promise of knowledge waiting within Detritus. That lured me in. I had something with me. A powerful object given to me by someone for my task. I can almost feel it. But it's gone now, along with my memories. I wish I could tell you more, my friend. You did well braving the realm of Detritus. One haunted still needs your help. I am forever in your debt, my friend. I need a moment to compose myself. You need to stop Lord Hollowjack before he destroys anyone else with his terrors. I'm a far-flung son of House Rollis. I travel Tamriel seeking hidden knowledge. As a boy, my mother would regale me with the histories of our family. It's the only fond memory I have of my childhood. Yes and no. My father's a cold man, with little in his heart but a lust for legacy. He doesn't think what I do lives up to our heritage. But it makes my mother happy when I write to her of my travels. And I do enjoy collecting knowledge. I need to write a letter to my mother. I don't know how long I was trapped and I don't want her to worry. After that, I should go someplace sunny. I hear the Sisters Islands are nice this time of year. Come off! I have to wash it away. Wash it all away. It won't be long until I drown in it. Can't you see it? The blood. Rivulets of it. Soaking my arms nearly up to my shoulders. Spreading every moment. I can't talk. I have to scrub it off or it oozes even faster. It's not my blood. I didn't even notice it until he showed me what my axe has done. Showed me the stains of the dead creeping into my skin. It will soak into my body until I drown in it. I have to wash it away. Or Hollow Jack. Maybe he can show you as well. Leave me, please. My axe has spilled so much blood. Even if I scrub the skin from my bones, I will be cleansed. I opened a path. Cleanse the Haunted's axe, but beware. Detritus eventually claims all who enter the realm. He said I'll never be clean. The blood covers me, seeps down my 
throat at the light show. In detritus, he showed me the truth of what I'll become. Why won't the blood come off? You're alive? Get back! I don't want to hurt you! Not again! The blood! The blood! No! This haunted needs your help. You must cleanse his weapon. It's gone. I saw the dead, 
and Lord Hollowjack, and you. You cleansed my axe, and with it, me. So I see. I was a fool to think I conquered my fears and moved on from my past. If you hadn't come along, I might have plunged my head into the river to escape it. You have my thanks. I can't remember. Sorry, I must be feeling the effects of my time in detritus. I recall one thing. I was offered absolution for my past, a way I could escape my painful memories. There was a totem I was given to help me face detritus. Small but powerful, and it made my skin crawl to touch it. That's all I can recall. My deepest apologies, friend. I want to lay down my axe and travel someplace more peaceful. Good luck to you, friend. I just need to rest a moment before I move on as well. I can barely lift my arms. Me. I'm just a tired old soldier, far from home. Not much place in Rothgar for an orc who shivers at the sight of blood. Made me a perfect victim for this damned Daedra. Yes. For as long as I could stomach it, I was born strong. The elders trained me in the traditional Orsimer way. Wielding my axe, cleaving skulls, bathing battlefields in the blood of our enemies. It made me sick. I thought it was a good idea. I realize now that violence infects every inch of Tamriel. I was a holy man, yes. I remember now. He promised me redemption. No such luck. I'll find my own way. I always have. doesn't make sense. You radiate the primal fear of detritus, but it hasn't driven you mad? Wait, what happened with the haunted? Thank you. I wasn't sure it was possible. Clearly you're stronger than I thought. We will need that strength for what comes next. You and I are both in grave danger. 
I'm sorry to have done this to you, but I must confess. I'm a priest of Stendar, but I'm also Lord Hollowjack's first victim, his eldest haunted. Lord Hollowjack dined on my terror for ages. Then, one day he offered me a deal. Release from my torment if I would send bold heroes for him to corrupt. I agreed. I needed to break the cycle. The amulet I gave you marks his prey. I carry one too. It primes his victims to become one of his haunted. I know I was wrong. But I hope to find a champion to challenge Lord Hollowjack. You can save all of us. Quickly now. Gather allies and return to Detritus to confront him. I'll stay in contact with you using the amulet. Wait. Do you feel that? I take great pleasure snuffing out the hope you've rekindled in my haunted. I'll be there soon to drag every last one of you back to Detritus. to come for us. Be careful. Lord Hollowjack is very powerful. I'd join you, but my fears would just strengthen him. Dark tidings are upon us. The Crowborn horror encroaches upon our realm. If it is left alone, it will ultimately pierce the veil and threaten all the inhabitants of Nern. Whether for altruism or reward, I sense you will be the one to defeat it. A powerful wraith of crows from the Evergloam, its approach is inevitable. But there is Aspects of the horror are already manifesting in our realm, in the form of cursed feathers that grow upon vile creatures. You must collect these feathers. When you gather enough, you will be able to fashion an effigy of the horror. Once we imbue it with energy from the Evergloam, it will allow you to lure the creature into a pocket realm. There, you will be able to defeat it. Now go! Time is short. You must gather the cursed feathers. They may be found growing upon the most vile creatures throughout Tamriel, and hidden among the feathers of crow-like beings. I sense them everywhere. Once you collect enough to make the effigy, we can begin. They are manifestations of the Evergloam. As the crowborn horror draws ever near, its energy builds in the form of dark feathers that grow upon creatures like an infection. These feathers won't harm you, however, in case you have any reservations. You don't know? It is Nocturnal's realm, a place of shadows and darkness. It is inhabited by many but ruled by only one. I'm just fascinated by the witch mothers. They have such a sense of wonder and mystery about them. Being here is such a thrill. Real. Your eyes can't be trusted in this realm.
They all come back to me. You fail. Give up now. They are illusions. Don't be shaken by them. They're not real. Your eyes can't be trusted in this realm. Too powerful like this. Now you're mine. I will find you. Run, 
little rat, run. Your pounding heart betrays you. Stay hidden for now. about lasting me. Let my jack-o'-lantern fly. Now unleash their flame! <laughs> After all, <laughs> fear itself can't be killed. Well done. Return to me. You did it. Hollowjack's physical form has been dispersed. He can't be killed for good. But if you continue to defeat his corporeal form until the festival ends, the veil will strengthen and confine him to detritus. Unfortunately, yes. Daedra can't be slain by mortal hands. He will return. But he can't harm us or anyone else until he regains his strength. When he does return, we'll need heroes like you once more. We are safe, my friend. For now. I do. I'm sorry. The shame I feel goes beyond mere words. When you are trapped as long as I was, you will make any excuse, justify any injustice for a promise of escape. I pray you never have to find out. I've missed so much in the time I was gone. The Witch Mothers have given me shelter for now, to teach me about what I've lost. And perhaps this poor old priest can find forgiveness someday. We are safe, my friend. For now. I do. I'm sorry. 
The shame I feel goes beyond mere words. When you are trapped as long as I was, you will make any excuse, justify any injustice for a promise of escape. I know. No words will ever make this right. I can only hope that my actions to atone for what I did, not just to the haunted you rescued, but to you, will someday be enough. Well, what of it? Did you craft the effigy? Hand it over, child. Hmm. Do you have a name, child? Well, I wouldn't sign it on this effigy, but I suppose it will have to do. Now, take it to one of the braziers nearby and douse it in the flames. That will imbue it with power from the Evergloam. Yes, good. A fine enough effigy you have made. It must be imbued with the Evergloam fires created by the Crow Mothers. Take it to a brazier here in the brewery and douse it in the flames. That will give it the power to attract the Crowborn horror. Welcome, Black Warrior.
The crowborn horror ebbs back. The darkness slinks away like a shadow scorned by the sun. You were successful. I suppose congratulations are in order. Yes, yes, well done and all that drivel. Sadly, the crowborn horror is a creature of habit. Given its nature, it will likely return at some point. I will continue spying for its presence, in case we need to draw it out again. For now, take this. You saved Nern from a most horrid fate, at least for the moment. Driving the crowborn horror farther back into the Evergloom will at least stave its ambition for now. But if it encroaches upon our realm again, I will call on you. We are the seers, the sources of answers, the crafters of questions. We scry for disturbances in the Evergloom and serve as caretakers in the time of harvest. That is ever-changing, my child. Unknown and unfathomable, who can truly say? If that answer does not satisfy you, you will not find me sympathetic. You saved Nern from a most horrid fate, at least for the moment. Driving the crowborn horror farther back into the Evergloom will at least stave its ambition for now. But if it encroaches upon our realm again, I will call on you. Those of my coven are always peering into the cauldron, scrying for signs of weal or woe. It is our way. We sense the encroachment of this entity as we listen to the whispers of the Evergloom, but we have yet to determine how it was summoned. Yes, creatures such as this are usually content to reside in the Evergloom, never turning their sights on Nern. And it can be no coincidence that Nocturnal Summoning Day has just passed. You don't know? It is Nocturnal's holy day, the third of Hearthfire. It is the day we are able to summon her to Nern. Perhaps something else was brought along with the Night Mistress. 